Hello guys, last week we finally finished the course that was ongoing for a month or so, creating CRM with filament. We published six more lessons, teamed up with my colleague Modestas, and now with almost 20,000 words, this course is ready to be consumed. And in this video, I want to read for you one of those later lessons, which I consider kind of like advanced level filament. We will be talking about invitations for new users. On the right hand side, you can see the list of lessons that we published. Some of them were interesting challenges for ourselves, like Kanban board with drag and drop customers between pipeline stages or generating PDFs and showing them on the screen. These were interesting things. The link to the full course will be in the description below. It's available, of course, for premium members of Laravel Daily. But today let's get into invitations. So this is our goal to send a link to a new user, a new employee of the CRM and they would accept the invitation. Starting from the beginning, we need a model and database table for invitations. So whenever we create a user, we would invite them and this would add a row to that database table of invitations with the model. Now we get to filament, to the user resource. We need an action to invite the employee. We have a page of list of users, but instead of creating the user, we have invite the user. So custom action with one field in the form, just the email, and then that action creates the database record and sends the email, which we will do in a minute, and shows the notification about success. This is how it looks visually. Next, what we do is create a registration page where that invited person would land. And this would be a custom page so we need to create a live wire component here, live wire component with the form, with a lot of things from filament being used. We extend a simple page, which means the registration form, design like registration and login. This is a simple page. It needs to interact with forms. And this is where we define our form in a method. Inside we use the same filament features like label, text input, and stuff like that. On the mount, we need to fill that form with email and of course we need to find that invitation and in a minute I will show you how to pass that parameter to the routes and then when that form is filled we actually create the user only then. So invitation fact does not create the user because well maybe they wouldn't accept that invitation or maybe that invitation would be resent later in the future to the same email. So yeah only here we create the user log them in and redirect to the dashboard. And then also on the same page, a few customizations which are allowed on a simple page like heading, like no logo shown and subheading text. And in the live wire blade, all we need to do is just render the form and reuse already existing filament blade components. And now to tie it all together, as I mentioned in the routes web, we need just one route, get the invitation. This would be the invitation ID, which would lead to that live wire component. This is a full page live wire component. So there's no Laravel controller here. And also important part, there should be middleware signed. This is a signed route. And how does it work? We will see here how we send the email. So we make mail. This is not a filament feature. This is a Laravel feature, just mail. We pass invitation as a parameter. And this is a new Laravel 10 syntax of emails like envelope, which is kind of like a header. And then the content would be just markdown. And this is the signed route, which would generate kind of a one-time route to accept that invitation. And in the blade, we use blade components from Laravel, and this will be the main button to create an account. And this is where we replace that to do from the very beginning of this lesson with mail to, and this would be the actual email to be sent. And once they click that link, this will be the form that live wire full page component with, as you saw, no logo and these customizations applied to the headers. And when they fill in that form, they are logged in and see the dashboard. That's basically it. That's all the lesson. This is one way, only one way, how you may implement user invitations in Filament. As I mentioned, the full course with repository inside will be in the description below. And meanwhile, we move on to creating more courses, not on Filament this time. We already have a few ideas in plans, which I'm excited about. So subscribe to the channel to get all the announcements about all the new content on Laravel Daily. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.